Hey everyone, and welcome to the third exercise in the sketchbook challenge for 2019. Uh, today's exercise is part one of um, two parts, and I'm gonna call it Draw It Twice. Um, and the reason why I call it that is because what we're gonna do is take a hard lead pencil, like a 2H pencil, we're gonna draw out our image, and we're gonna kinda do a contour drawing. We're gonna take a little bit more time, uh, but we're gonna try to draw an outline as accurate as we can with a light pencil, so we'll have a light drawing. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is draw it a second time. We're gonna go right over it again with a darker pencil. We're gonna darken the lines. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the good lines. We're gonna draw right over the good lines that we have, and we're gonna leave the light colored lines that are off and try to adjust them with a dark line. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have uh, a light line that was maybe off a little bit, and then a dark line either below it or above it or adjusted uh, in order to show you where you're making some mistakes and um, how close you were the first time. So we're not gonna use any eraser again. Uh, it's kind of a simple little drawing. We're gonna do a drawing of a bird. A bird, uh, I have no idea what kind of bird it is. So if you do know, you can post it in the comments below uh, and educate me a little bit about this pretty little bird. So. Uh, again, what we're going to do is draw it twice. Draw it lightly for the first time with a light pencil, and then draw it the second time trying to correct our mistakes with a dark pencil. No erasing. We want to see where we made those adjustments. So let's uh, jump right into exercise number three for the sketchbook challenge of 2019. Okay, for this sketchbook challenge, I've picked um, a bird to draw. I'm actually not even sure what kind of bird this is. I just found this reference photo, uh, copyright free reference photo on unsplash.com. Um, so I'm just, it didn't say what kind of bird it was, so I'm not really sure. I didn't really Google it. I just thought it looked cool and I liked how it was positioned for this type of lesson. So we're gonna do this unknown bird. If you comment below and tell me what kind of bird it is, um, I'll give you a high five or something. <laughs> anyway, so, what I'm going to do is start out with a 2H pencil. So the 2H is a little bit harder lead. We'll have some light lines. What I want to do is similar to kind of what we've been doing. I'm using my gray paper now. But we're going to do a contour drawing without... Um, we're just going to look at the bird. We're going to draw a contour and we're not going to adjust anything yet. What we're going to do is draw it really lightly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just look at some angle that I find easy to draw, and that's right under the beak. Um, I guess you could call it the chin of the bird. I'm just gonna start out by drawing really lightly that first line. So you're probably gonna have a hard time seeing it um, right away here as I sketch, but you wanna draw really lightly, and we're just trying to draw in that first line. No erasers here. So I'm going to continue the contour now and looking at my reference photo, looking at the angles, so it starts to curve underneath here, but it still has a kind of an angle down even though it's curved. So I'm just drawing really lightly, okay, and from there I'm just going to draw the first part of the beak here. It almost creates a straight line right here. And then the beak kind of comes back and creates an opening in the mouth. Then the head comes back and it's pretty long the head shape there. And then I'm looking at this angle here. Again, drawing this really lightly. And there's a reason why we're gonna draw it lightly. And that's because we're gonna correct any mistakes that we've made as we go through here. So uh, we're gonna do a second round with a darker pencil 
uh, after this to correct any mistakes. And what's going to happen is we're going to leave the light lines and we're going to see any of the mistakes that we've made and kind of learn from them. So again, we're just doing really, really light lines, nothing too dark because we're going to darken it up a little bit later. So I'm going to look here and about halfway, it kind of lines up with the back of the head here is where the foot starts. So cut the foot right about here and then it creates this angle here with the branch. So we've got some feathers here. Then we've got that long, really long, that's a really cool tail feather here. That kind of comes all the way, way out here. It's a really thin line, and then connects up to the rest of the body. Okay, so I've drawn in my initial shape here. What I also want to do is draw in uh, some of these patterns. So I'm going to look at the almost kind of this white eyebrow above the head or on top of the head, I should say. And then we've got the eye. There's a little line, dark line behind the eye. And then we've got this cool little shape on the neck. Again, drawing it really lightly so that way I can look at all of my mistakes and adjust when we do the darker pencil. So really quickly here drawing in this orange looking pattern. We kind of got the feather shape here. Then we've got this blue wing shape. I guess it is the wing so Drawing that in. Then there's a little orange blaze kind of continuing from that neck pattern on the chest. And then it's kind of all green, this greenish hue or teal underneath the body. Okay, so I've got kind of everything uh, sketched in here. One thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw in just a little bit of the toe. Okay, so from here what I'm going to do is evaluate um, some areas that I might have you know, needed a little work on and adjust with a darker pencil. So I'm going to take a 4B pencil now, which is much darker. I'm just going to sharpen it. And I'm going to leave all these lines here and I'm going to look and see which ones I think are good. So this first line here, I'm pretty happy with. But then I kind of made this a little too sharp. It should have come in just a little bit here. And the belly should extend down just a little bit more. Okay, the bottom of this beak is pretty good. So I'm just going to darken that little piece. The beak should be a little bit thicker up on top here. And what we're going to do in the next few lessons um, is talk about line work. Uh, for now you can kind of keep the lines.
pretty solid. Uh, don't worry about line work too much yet. We'll talk about that more a little bit later. Okay, now what I want to do is look at the head here, and I made the head a little bit too wide. So I would actually come in here just a little bit. And then looking at this angle here, I should have curved it a little bit more like this. And bring this out a little bit further. This line down here is pretty good. And then the foot itself is pretty close. So what we're doing is just looking at our initial drawing and fixing mistakes with our darker lines. So this is just a good way to evaluate your drawings and uh, just, you know, these are just practice sketches. So there's not a whole lot, you know, you don't have to worry about it too much. It's just a practice drawing and you could frame it up if you wanted to, but Okay, so the angle of this long feather I had off as well, it should have been down more like that. So when you're doing your drawing, you need to ask yourself, uh, as you look at it the second time through, what was off the first time. Sometimes you might not be able to catch things, but just the little adjustments are, you know, it's going to make a big difference. It's going to make your drawing look a lot more realistic. So you could do this. Um, like I said, we're going to talk about line work. You really wouldn't want to do all of these lines really solid like this. But as we work on our line work a little bit later, you can start out with a really light drawing and then without erasing draw in some darker more permanent lines and then erase after that so this will kind of get you prepared for that type of process and we're going to talk about shading a little bit in the next video so that's why I'm drawing this on the gray paper we're going to start out with this exercise where we're going through and correcting any areas we want to correct. This little feather here should have been out a little bit further. Okay, so for this uh, exercise, what we're doing is we draw in with a 2H pencil really light to start with, and then we look and evaluate what we've drawn and go in with a darker pencil line. You can still see here, like above here, I kind of screwed up the arch of the back a little bit on the first time. I made the head a little too wide, so I left that first line uh, just quite, so I can see where I corrected some of my mistakes. Uh, and you can do this good practice, draw it through the first time, and then uh, draw it through the second time with a darker pencil correcting your mistakes. And then you can kind of see uh, areas that uh, you might have messed up on or need to work on a little bit. 
And this is really good for drawing, um, it's a good exercise for drawing like realistic things like people or birds or anything like that. Uh, you can start to see where you initially make mistakes a lot of times. Uh, a lot of times we'll make the same mistakes over and over like with eyes or with hands or things like that. So as we practice, as we draw that light uh, we draw it light the first time and then fix our mistakes the second time we start to get better uh, with our hand-eye coordination and also seeing uh, certain areas that we don't really draw that well and we can practice those things so if you're always making one eye a little bit higher than the other one uh, you'll start to get better at it as you correct it doing the second dark drawing so for this week's exercise all we're doing is drawing an, an image you can use this image on the Facebook page um, there's a reference photo there under the exercise. You can draw this bird. Again, I have no idea what kind of bird it is. Post in the comments below if you do know. Um, and so you can draw this bird, draw it light the first time with a light pencil, and then look at it, analyze it, say, oh, I kind of messed up on the angle of the neck there, uh, or maybe I made the eye too small or I made the eye too big. And then the second time through, draw it again using your, your original drawing and just drawing in the darker lines draw in the lines that are right uh, just draw right over them and then where you've made mistakes just leave those and you can kind of use that as a guide to correct your mistake so this is uh, just drawing it twice uh, it's kind of what I've, i'm calling this exercise draw it twice and uh, this will help you with getting your proportions and things accurate but you want to save this drawing because what we're going to do is use this drawing um, to talk about line work and shading in the next exercise. So that'll be part two of exercise three or sketchbook challenge number three. Okay, so that completes part one of the two-part lesson. Uh, like I said, in the second part, what we're gonna do is go over uh, shading and line work. We're gonna talk about line work and then we're gonna talk about shading as well. So for this uh, exercise, all we did was we drew in the bird uh, really lightly with a 2H pencil, and then we took a 4B pencil and drew it darker the second time, keeping our good lines and then adjusting some of the lines that were a little bit off. So if you need the reference photo, you can go to the Facebook group page and look under announcements. That's where you'll find all the exercises. And in the comments, I'll post the reference photo for this drawing lesson. If you have any questions, you can also visit the Facebook group page and post in the comments. Uh, also post your progress in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon with part two.